Hello everyone, this is the Aqua Student, and I'm on my way home from college for the last time. Uh, I graduated yesterday with both my degrees, so that was awesome. Uh, it's been crazy over the past month or so, trying to get everything done. I finished up my senior thesis, uh, my honors program uh, project, uh, defended my thesis, all, all that, that crazy, crazy stuff. But uh, it was worth it, I got it all done and I'm excited to say that I, I did in fact graduate. So that's, that's always an exciting thought. Anyway, like I said, I'm on my way home, um, driving back. I've got uh, the car packed to the brim. I've got everything packed in there like Tetris. Um, right now, uh, back there I have the 55 gallon African cichlid tank, uh, as well as the 10 gallon planted tank. All the filters, heaters, everything that that goes with them uh, is also back there in, in their own special packing situation, whatever. Whatever I was able to work out back there. Uh, I've got my books, things like that, some clothes, although more fish than clothes. Um, TV, Xbox, all, all that good stuff. All the uh, necessities for college. And then next to me, hanging out over here, below uh, Jericho, my driving buddy, is the fish. I've got, uh, I wanted to show a little bit of how I uh, transport these guys. Uh, I've got this plastic tub that uh, I've been using the past couple times instead of a styrofoam cooler. I'm not as concerned about the tub leaking as I was about the styrofoam cooler just because the styrofoam is a little bit uh, more brittle and can shred much more easily. Uh, I have two air battery powered air pumps on the side here. I actually have a third but don't have it hooked up. Haven't had a need yet. Uh, they run on C batteries and uh, they were pretty cheap. Picked them up on Doctors Fosters and Smith. Um, a good addition. It'd be nice to have them anyway in case your power goes out for a while. I know there were a lot of a lot of issues with the hurricane uh, this past fall. Uh, there were a lot of uh, tank casualties and, and a lot of issues when uh, if the power is out for like a week, 10 days at a time, it's kind of hard to, to keep a, a system running smoothly. Uh, so they're kind of good to have on hand just in case uh, for an emergency situation or if you end up transporting the fish. Um, in the tub, I have all the African cichlids. They're sitting, hanging out in about a third of the tub full of water. That's uh, about enough to, that, that gives them enough room to move around, but not large enough that if I hit a bump, I get soaked. So it's kind of uh, a nice middle ground there. Uh, I have the Neon Tetras from the 10 gallon tank uh, in there as well, but they're bagged uh, up all together. So, uh, the cichlids can't get to them, so to speak, but they still have all the uh, the thermal buffering from the large volume of water. And Olivia's in her own little bagging as well. So that's kind of uh, my my current strategy on how to uh, transport my fish. And of course, Jericho keeps an eye out and uh, navigates for me. So if I get lost on the way home, that's his fault, all right? So thanks for watching, guys. I've got a whole bunch of plans lined up for the summer. Um, I have to build a fence first of all, but beyond that I have a few few ideas that I really want to set in place, some that have been long, long overdue. So thank you for sticking with me. Uh, it's been a crazy past couple months, but uh, glad to finally be able to relax and uh, look forward to the future. So cheers guys, have a good one.